Yo, what is up, YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning in. Today, I'm bringing you guys a long-awaited video on uh, this. Is technically, a part two on to on my one of my most popular videos, the How to Map Black Custom video. I released that video about a year ago, not knowing how much attention it would have got. It has over 400,000 views, and I appreciate every single one of them. I know most of you guys came and subscribed to my channel because of that video. And this video is going to be the part two, which kind of explains it a little bit better because I know when I made that video. I wasn't doing the best explanation possible, but here it is. This video should help you guys out. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so before we get started, let me actually just show you guys. They're still in great condition. I don't know what all of you guys are talking about. Uh, maybe you guys didn't follow certain steps, right? But mines are still in great condition. There is a little bit of cracking happening. Of course, it's gonna happen with every shoe regardless if you painted it or if Jordan Brown painted it. But this here, still matte black, still wearable. And it's been over a year. I wore them. I don't wear them too often, but I did wear them about six to eight times as soon as I uh, painted them. And then I've worn them about three or four times after that, uh, within those eight months. And they're still in good condition. The back tab is still good. They are still matte black, as you can tell. Let me get a quick thumbnail. There you go. For all everybody who came to my channel because of these, I really appreciate it. And uh, all the support you guys showed, or all the hate you guys showed, it doesn't matter. As long as you're here, this is gonna help you guys out to better enhance your customizing skills in a way. Um, so let me put this away. The very first thing you need to know is always, no matter what type of shoe you're working on, is prep the leather, prep, prep the suede, make sure you clean everything off the suede before you dye it, make sure you prep the leather, make sure you acetone everything down and clean everything, because without that, your shoe can probably get ruined, the paint won't stick onto it well, and that's one of the biggest reasons why cracking happens. So always clean, prep, deglaze, acetone, whatever you have to do, make sure your shoe is clean, make sure your brushes are clean, and just be patient with your product because you can't brush a project and then expect it to work uh, like other people's or people who you have seen on YouTube do it. Take your time when you're doing custom. So first of all, let me explain to you guys a few things that I've, I've gotten common questions on. The matte black custom was a video I made to show people how to do matte black. People took that custom um, and figured, people took that video and like misinterpreted it a few ways and they didn't really understand it. This right here is a Adidas Boosness, if you guys seen my last video, this is an all suede upper. So the reason why I started the matte black custom video was because that Toro Bravo Jordan 4 was messed up. And I don't know if people watch my videos without listening to what I'm saying, but I got thousands of comments, hundreds of comments, of people saying, why would you do that to the Toro 4, when I literally explained why I did it to the Toro 4. But this is a suede upper. Once suede gets messed up, there's really nothing you can do uh, as far as cleaning goes, and that's why I decided to make that shoe all black. When working on a suede upper, you're gonna have to dye it first. So if you're not working on a suede upper, you do not have to dye it, so you, don't have, you can totally skip that first step of that video and still get that custom done. So this is a suede shoe. When you're working on a suede shoe, you need to dye it. If you're not working on a suede shoe, you don't need to dye it. This here is a leather shoe. The material on this is different from the suede shoe that I just threw on the ground. This leather material does not need to be dyed. You can skip the first step from that one video that I posted and still make this matte black if you wanted to. I'm not about to do this to this shoe. I'm just letting you guys know this is leather, so you don't have to prep it. I mean, you have to prep it, always prep. You just don't have to dye it. So another common question I got on that video was, oh, do I need a dye? What, what dye do I use? What do I do? Um, and the biggest, like, I don't think people really got it. I don't know, if I'm, I'm so curious about it. People were just not listening to what I was saying or how you guys are watching that video. But the thing that makes the black matte is the Angela's duller and a lot of people kept asking me do i need the duller can i just use flat black you can use flat black and you're gonna get a flat black if you want a matte black you need duller and that applies to any color you can turn this royal five dull which means it kind of takes away the shine you can turn this red dull and it takes away the shine that's literally what the duller is for it makes colors matte you can even take the olive green and mix it together and it, it'll take away the shine that the paint already comes with now this is the secret to the matte black, the duller. This is what you need to make the matte black, or matte anything for that purpose. When I, when I made that video, I don't know, I didn't really show you guys, but literally what you need to do is take 
some of this in whatever color you want to use. You can use olive green and mix it into a little container. Do 60% paint and 40% duller, meaning do more paint than you do duller because if you use too much duller, it becomes chalky and the, and the color will just like, it'll get on there like really nice, but then if you let it dry, the paint is gonna start getting chalky and it's gonna be no good. There's no purpose of you doing the custom at all. So use less duller than you do paint. And mix it together, and once you apply it, you will get the matte effect. And that is literally all you guys need to know. Duller and paint, more paint, less duller, will give you a matte effect, matte effect on any color. So this is the key to success, the Angelus Duller. And I linked, uh, I will link AngelusDirect.com on my bio so you guys can buy this. But another key thing is the finisher you use. A lot of people were asking me, oh, I've used, I've done with the, with the custom, what kind of finisher do you use? And me personally, I've gone through matte with the matte finish, and a lot of people thought the matte finish was what made the whole shoe matte. And it's not, it's the duller. The matte finish is just to provide a protective coat, which will, uh, which will protect the, the paint from getting scratched or chipped or cracking, whatever it may be. But the Angelus matte finisher still has some gloss to it, especially when you use duller on, you mix the duller with the paint, if you use the matte finisher from Angelus, it's gonna have gloss and it's gonna totally ruin the matte effect on certain colors. However, I've seen people use the duller, use the duller with the matte and mix it together and then it kinda doesn't make a glossy look. However, me personally, I prefer using the matte finish from Krylon, which is a spray. And the good thing about this is it has no gloss. So your matte effect will stay on the shoe and this will protect it. You do about two or three coats, let it dry between coats and this has helped keep these alive for the past year. So this is another key to success. Now I'm quoting DJ Khaled a lot, but he's popping right now, so major key alert, matte finish. Major key alert, Angelus Deller. Key to success is the Angelus Deller. This is what gets you the matte. So that's literally all you need to know. Remember, use less duller and more paint. The more duller you use, the more chalky the paint will get, which will dry up, and literally, it'll literally turn to chalk, like it'll get powdery, it won't look good at all. So don't use too much duller. Try to test it on little things before you put it on a shoe so you know exactly what you're getting. Let it dry up a little bit, that gives you the true effect of the matte coloring. Um, that's literally it, you guys. So I've gotten thousands of questions on what to do, how to do it. And I showed everybody what to do in that very first video. This is just a follow-up video for all of you who are a little confused. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't watched that first video, make sure you go watch that first video because you probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Once again, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, drop a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know if this video helped you guys out a little bit. Or if you still have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comment section. My Instagram DM is completely broken because of you guys and I don't know how to fix it. But if you hit me up on Twitter or in the comment section, I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Until next time, peace.